What is going on guys, we're here with Ulti Grand Finals, so CL is playing Sabella and CL only has to win one best of three because Sabella uh, won loser's bracket and CL won winner's bracket. You guys can still expect uploads from the other round uh, from Sabella's run, how he won loser's bracket. I recorded um, two more series from their live that's going to be coming the next days. But yeah, looking at the teams real quick, um, I think with the banter on CL side, Mega Alakazam. Is a Scarf Lele or Z-Move Lele? If it's Z-Move, that means he has no speed control. Because I'm thinking the Lando has to be defensive, either Yachi, Helmet or Lefties, on, on both teams, actually. Uh, on Sabala's team, it could technically be, if the Fini is defensive, it could be offensive Lando. But on CL's team, I'm definitely thinking defensive Lando. Because uh, Pharaoh usually runs Spadaf. Because so both teams would be annoyed by Zygarde. And then it's Mega Zam and it's a bulky Pex. So the thing is here, CL has a Pex in the back. So I think Sabala is either going to U-turn or Spike here. And uh, looking at Sabella's team, this could be Scarf Grin, this could be Ash Grin. Like, I'm thinking either the Greninja or the Ladis, the Scarfer. The Pharaohs obviously spikes, knockoff, I would assume. The Hoopers, probably like Specs or Band. Could also be Z Move Hooper. And so, I do understand why CL stayed in. But it didn't U turn or spikes. Because if he goes into packs on a U turn, then Hooper comes in. And Hooper, depending on Hooper's set, it can be like a really huge threat. It's hard to switch into, obviously. Tita is the only dark resist, right? And if, t if he drain punches, the Tita would get blown away by that. So they exchange rocks here and CL gets off a hidden power ice. I don't think Sabala wants to die, um, let his Landris die. So he's most likely gonna switch, uh, I should say faint. <laughs> he's most likely gonna switch here into Pharaoh Thorn. Um, CL could, I guess, go into Band Tar if he has Fire Punch, predicting the Ferrothorn. But Isabella should um, keep his Landris around. When he comes in on the packs, he can get some Earthquake damage on something or expect the opposing Lander to come out. This is just going to Pharaoh Thorn, uh, it seems CL stayed in, okay. And Sabella can either go for a knockoff here, getting rid of CL's um, Pharaoh Thorn's lefties, because CL is not going to stay in. Oh, he can go for a spike. The thing is, um, there's Pharaoh on Pharaoh action, and what Pharaoh on Pharaoh is, it's just people exchange spikes. And, I mean, Sabella has potential hydro control in Ladi or... Fini, but it's it's not that reliable of hazard control. I'm super hyped for Ultra Sun and Moon for new defoggers. CL has no hazard control at all, but it's kind of understandable because he has at least uh, Magic Guard, Zam, and Region on packs. But I assume that they will just exchange spikes here. The thing is, um, Sabala's Greninja only has, if all layers go up, I think he can only come in twice and then it's gonna die to the third time when he comes in. And CL can just go packs every time Sabala's Greninja comes out. So Sabala's Greninja is not going to put in much work at all. And with all the hazards up, I like Kazam looking like a really big threat and looking like it can clean clean up really soon. This is game this game is not going to take long. Um, spikes are going to speed this up. So if you have Bella here, you either leech seed or you switch out for the knockoff. See, I went for hidden power. That was probably hidden power fire because it wasn't ice. That's on Kartana to hit uh, on Ferrothorn to hit Kartana, and it also hits Scissor, I guess. That's wild. Sabella so pulled out HP fire as well. What is going on? There's, you, I only know how ABR sometimes runs it on land or HP fire, but I, I know it's like. Got both players feeling the Katana having HP fire on Lando for Scissor on Katana. That's fire. I mean, it's mainly on, on Ferrothorn, it's mainly for Katana. I've said it a few times now because the Katana is trash, but death it probably dies in one go. I would assume. Like, I haven't run the Kalk, but Katana's speed death is paper thin, and the HP is also not really good. And I assume the thing is, if Sabella goes into Ladi here to revenge the Ferrothorn, he can then get pursued by a potential Bantar. But if he goes into anything else, he has to take a really huge amount of damage from the spikes. At least he was able to weaken the Ferrothorn Thorn um, a lot with that hidden power fire. I mean, <laughs> I 
I thought that Sia would have uh, was willing to switch out there or either knock off trying to get rid of Sabella's lefties. But that boy had hidden power fire trying to hit the opposing hidden power fire and Sabella went into his own land also having hidden power fire. Yeah, I could never have predicted those turns. Like, <laughs> on Sabella's team I actually get it that he's HP fire land or but on... Um, yeah, it kind of makes sense that both teams not a look at it. Katana is a huge threat but I still would have never guessed it. So he goes for Z move, uh, Z psychic or Psy shock. The thing is, now Tita comes in and pursues him. Um, Sabala's gonna be able to get some Draco chip off. So I'm thinking that he was um, Z, Z Psychic, Sesh Psycho, then Draco, then Recover, and then maybe Defog in the last slot. That could mean that his Fini is either a Whirlpool variant to trap stuff, or a Defog, uh, or a Comet variant. Either a Whirlpool or a Comet Fini would be an option. Sabala's uh, probably gonna predict the Pursuit. And Draco to get some more chip damage. And if this pursuit kills, I think that confirms that a T-Tar is banned. As it does just kill the Lari. And he has a few options. He can go into top of Fini here. He can go in a Hoopa as well. But yeah, like I said earlier already, I think Alakazam is just gonna clean up for CL in the long run. Um the spikes um just put everything in range. Like Hoopas, I guess the only thing that can potentially take a hit from Zem after hazards. Greninja, the only thing that outspeeds them is checked by Pax and only has two switch ins because of hazards. You guys can see hazards do like a lot there. 37 to the Fini. So Ciel is probably just gonna sack the tar because it dies to hazards and he doesn't really want to switch into anything. So Sabella is just gonna moonblast or if he is a setup variant, he could also go for the for Calm Mind. But the thing is, um, I think afterwards, if his Tita dies, CL can just go into his Tapu Lele and then click Moonblast or a Z move. Like I said, I'm not sure yet if the Lele is Scarf or Z move. So he stays in. Pursuit still does a respectable amount. It's a Calm Mind Fini. So I'm thinking that's like maybe Max. Max HP, max speed, or is it even max special attack? That pursuit still did a lot. Like that's definitely not a defensive Fini. Like it might have HP investment, but it's not like bold or anything like that. Sixteen percent. Um, Sabala just has to kill this Tita now because he's getting chipped and chipped. And yeah, he's out of range from Moonblast because of the, especially because of the common boost. And the the, re the reason why I'm saying Moonblast the entire time instead of Psy Shock and Psy is because Sabala has two Dark types in the back. And if the Lele is choiced, um, he obviously doesn't want to go for Psy Shock, right? So it does go on the top of Lele, and I do assume we see either the, the Moonblast come out or the Z-Move here. If he's Z-Move, that would mean he does not have any Scarfers on his team, but... Since uh, CL usually uh, sometimes uses a lot of fat teams himself, he, he can expect his opponent to prep for fatter stuff and have more wall breakers and not that much speed control. So I do get that. Like, both teams are like super weak to Volcarona, but given uh, who they are playing and... Uh, Knowing what they use in the past and how they would prep with each other, I think it makes a lot of sense. They don't have to really be prepped for Volk. But yeah, um, I might not even I might not even get uh, the new game. How are you guys feeling about the new Ultra Sun and Moon? Like I might not even buy the new game because there's only like four new months. I'm not that hyped about the game itself. I'm just hyped about the few new months, like the Naganadel, Nagan however you pronounce that. I'm hyped about the new Defoggers and Tudor moves in general. But the game itself, yeah, it has like that Team Rocket stuff, it's kind of cool, but uh, I don't think... Like, I won't just get hyped for when the monster are on showdown and when the move to are on showdown. Stuff like that is more interesting for me. <laughs> and so they're taking quite long here. And Zabala is gonna stay in a Moonblast, like, I don't think there's a point in switching out for the Fini here. And yes, yeah, like I said, has the option of Moonblasting and Z-moving. I guess he could technically also call mine with his Lele. But I don't think it makes a difference because after he kills the Fini, um, the only difference that Call Mining up with the Lily would do is it could beat the Pharaoh Zone down then with HP Fire. Because otherwise, I think the Pharaoh might be able to take an HP Fire after hazards. Because I think it was still relatively healthy, Sabella's, uh, Sabella's Pharaoh Thorn. But then it could, he could still go on a Greninja if he uh, if the Lily comments and then scare with U-turn slash Gang Shot. But like I said, um, CL overall has the advantage because. So the Greninja comes out, it only has two switch ins and the Pax is just in the back waiting for it. And everything on Sabala's team is getting chipped for Alakazam, I think it for the third time now. Sabala's time is running low. 
But yeah, if CL happens to win this game, he only has to win one more game in this best of three, and then he's the OT champion. Um, a lot of people are like, um, like wants Sabala to win, but like I don't really care. I, like I like both. I, like not that I know CL personally. I guess I know Sabala a little bit. I don't know him personally. It's Gigavolt Havoc. Wow, that's really cool for stuff like Cell Steela. I actually had, I actually thought about that set. Like I wanted to build with it. Like when OT started. But and I, like I only made one team, it wasn't and it wasn't that good. Like I'm struggle, I struggled building with it. But it seems like a cool idea overall. But the thing is, you can just overpower Celestia with specs or with common Z Shattered Psych as well. So Greninja is gonna come out. I'm not sure if you can guaranteed kills. If he's attack invested, it might kill. But if he's more special attack, I don't think it killed. Like Lily doesn't have the best defense, but it's just a U turn, and Greninja is not that strong with a scarf. Like it's not any boosting item. So it was Gigavolt Havoc and probably the other moves were Psy Shock, um, Moonblast and HP Fire. Could also be Calm Mind, but I would assume 4 attacks makes more sense on this set. You want HP Fire for Ferrothorn, you want Moonblast for Sabla, you want uh, Psy Shock for Chansey. He goes to Lando expecting a U-turn. Now we see if he's Helmet or if he's not Helmet and I think he wasn't lefties either, so I assume this is the Yachi Berry Lando. And Uber might get a kill here, depending on the set. Either Bandit or Specs is what I'm expecting. And if he's Specs, he can go for Dark Pulse. If he's Bandit, he can. I guess then Headbutt will kill because it's Psychic Terrain boosted. But Ice Punch technically might. Like, the Ice Punch might not kill if it's Yachi Lando. So I think then Headbutt is like the preferred play here because it's uh, Psychic Terrain boosted, right? But this uh, hit the ground, so it should get a boost from the psychic terrain. So yeah, it punches, and it is Yarchi, so I think it doesn't kill. And Earthquake or U-turn, yup, it's gonna kill the Hooper. And now Alakazam plus Pex wins. Um, obviously this Lando dies to Hazards, but it doesn't matter anymore. And if Sabella got the kill on the Lando, did he still have a chance? I think after Hazard he would have been in range from Moonblast from the Lele. Um, I think he still would have lost. Maybe it would have been a bit closer. The yeah, Alakazam forces. Um, like, Pharaoh can potentially take a hit, but Pharaoh can't kill Alakazam back. And I don't think he can win, because if he goes into Greninja, that outspeeds the Zam. CL just goes into Toxapex. The best thing that could happen to Zabala is he's the best thing he could do is being Scar. Okay, just second land was obviously a fine play as well. So U turn there um, would have killed the Zam, would have got momentum on Pex, but it doesn't matter because even if he gets the U turn off, then he dies to hazards. The best thing that Zabala's win con would have the best win con he would have had is I guess Scarf Dark Pulse or Scarf E Sense and just flinching everything. But we you all know that never would have happened. Yeah, Scarf Dark Pulse, but I'm saying E. Yeah, E Sense also. Yeah, never mind. E Sense is effective versus Pex. For a second, that's how it's resisted. But yeah, this game is over. CL is gonna win game one. And I'm gonna be uh, back with game two later. Um, also, you guys can expect a lot more uploads from Snake Draft Finals. Um, I recorded every single match of Snake Draft Finals so far. And there's like one game missing to decide the series that's gonna happen tomorrow. Um, this video might go up one day late, so it might. when I say tomorrow, I might mean today. But yeah, the next days I'm gonna have Snake Jet Finals. My man Ultra Boss is gonna help me out because there's some Ubers games, there's an NU game, there's a little cup game, and I don't play those tiers, my man plays them. And you, you guys know he's the, he's the goat, uh, especially at lower tiers. I mean, he's also the goat at OU, but he's also the, he's fire at lower tiers, and I don't play lower tiers. So yeah, Tabo Lily can go for HP Fire. Ferrothorn probably lives it because they run Spadev. Mm -hmm. But Greninja dies to Spikes, so um, Alakazam just wins. Um, yeah, like some people um, might say, why did he sack the, the packs? But he didn't need it anymore because Greninja died to hazards or dies to hazards. CL is gonna. Be CL is up 1 0 versus Sabella. He just has to click Shadow Ball or Psychic here. Psychic turn and Psychic, which obviously kill from 15%. Unless I'm tripping and Feral Zone is like super bulky, but Psychic should kill and Shadow Ball should also kill. Um, so CL is up 1 0. We're gonna be right back with game 2, and Sabella has all the pressure now. He has to win. Two more games now to win this best of three and then he has to win another best of three. 
And CL already has um, two individual trophies. I think I kind of stopped talking about it earlier. I think I mentioned it once. No, I don't think I did. He already won. I think he won the first Grand Slam, and I think he won 20. More to 21, something like that. But yeah, stay tuned for game two and smash that like button if you want to see more. Peace out, friends.